Hi, this is Dr. Ben Benham, board certified dermatologist in the beautiful Santa Monica, California. So today we are going to talk about PRP stem cell for hair growth. So today we have one of our lovely patients who we did a stem cell therapy injection on his scalp roughly about four months ago. Uh, and he's here today for follow up. So, how are you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah. The, the results have been uh, really good, uh, particularly in the crown. Um, that's seen phenomenal results and then uh, even in the front uh, most of uh, there's a large area of the scalp that was just exposed before and it started to grow back in so great pretty awesome results so with respect to the timeline it was it was four months did you see the gradual improvement what happened exactly yeah so like timeline I think it was a, a gradual improvement where I didn't notice much you know the first I would say month yeah but then after that I started to definitely see results I noticed that the shedding that I was experiencing it started to reduce uh, right. a little bit, and then definitely noticing the crown start to, uh, you know, get covered and uh, hair start to regrow. Okay, yeah. great. Let's talk about the procedure day. Did you have like a lot of pain? What would you have to explain the procedure day? Procedure was was pretty simple. I uh, just wake up and don't really have to do anything. Just drink a lot of water. Yes. Uh, blood take take the blood, um, and then the whole procedure itself was pretty quick. I mean, it, it didn't take too long at all. Uh, okay, so and with respect to percentage of improvement, so in the front and the crown area, how much percent would you say that your hair grew, that basically you got improvement? I'd probably say in the front, like at least 60-65%, okay. you know, coming like actually down here and okay. looking at before how much my scalp was exposed, okay. probably about 60. And then I'd say, you know, my crown has probably gotten probably like 70 percent better that's great yeah. yeah one thing that we noticed on the crown area was that the area of hair loss which was about a circle like that is actually gotten much much smaller yeah uh, and the area in the front I mean, we were able to see the scalp but just taking a simple photo but now it's really covered mm -hmm. which means you probably have to have a lot of growth so I have a comb here we're actually going to comb through the hair well we'll start with here the reason why we comb through the hair is that we want to show our audience that basically is real hair this is your actual hair and the area is really much full. If you look, this entire area, uh, basically we're able to see the crown, it's really much, much fuller. You, could, you can't see that anymore. And let's look at the front here again. So this is the front. We're able to see the scalp very easily, but now there's really like a lot of hair growth. And if you look closely, there's a lot of like small hairs basically growing right there as well. So it's definitely basically thicker here as well. Let's move some of the hair around. Obviously, if I move the hair around, you're gonna see the crown, but you know, uh, definitely real hair, it looks great. You still have a lot of basic peach fuzz hair growing out here, but the hair is getting longer. I love it. Any recommendations you have for the people out there? Hey, if uh, you're starting to lose your hair, give this a shot. It's uh, a lot cheaper and easier than a hair transplant. Um, especially for me, I wasn't even eligible for a hair transplant. And um, it works pretty fast, so. Great, excellent. Easy. Well, look. This was the stem cell therapy for hair loss. I'm very happy that you know you got great results. Uh, keep it up, and uh, that's it. Look, cool. so nice to see you. You're right doing on. great. Thank you.